Hello, you're welcome. Here, yeah. how to solve this nice algebra equation involving root. We have 3 root x plus 3 over root x equals to 10. Now, to get the value of x here, let's represent root x with a letter. Let root x be equal to letter u here. Then we can write this equation and then we have 3u plus 3 over u equals to 10. And from here, we can clear this fraction here and multiply this equation through by u. So when we multiply through by u, u times 3u will give us 3u squared. Then plus u times 3 over u, that's just 3 equals to u times 10, that's 10u. Then let's bring 10u here to form an equation. So we have 3u squared minus 10u plus 3 now will be equals to 0. From here, we can factorize here. When we multiply this and this, that gives us 9u squared. Then the factors of this that we sum up to minus 10 is minus 9u then minus u. So when we multiply we get plus 9u square and when we add we get minus 10u and then we can now write as 3u square minus 9u minus u plus 3 then equals to 0. Then from here we factor this to 2. From here what is common we have 3u then u minus 3. Here we have minus 1 common. We have u minus 3 left which is equals to 0. Then we have u minus 3 common. Then what we mean here is 3u minus 1 which is equals to 0. So the two possible cases are u minus 3 equals to 0 and uh, we have 3u minus 1 equals to 0. From this side u is equals to 3 and this side 3u here is equals to 1 whereby u equals to 1 over 3. Then we recall that we represented our u as root x from here so we said let's look f equals to u so we can now write root x now and say this will be root x equals to 3 and since you are finding x let's square both sides here square this side and square this side square we cancel square root so x equals to 9 on this side similarly here we have root x equals to 1 over 3 square both sides as well then when we square this side we have square also cancel square root then we have x equals to 1 square is still 1 3 square is 9 so we have 1 over 9 here then we have x equals to 9 here so this is the solution to this problem x equals to 9 or x equals to 1 over 9 which we can easily check from what we have when we have x equals to 9 that means we put 9 here that will give us 3 times square root of 9 plus 3 over square root of 9 with this be equals to 10 from here then we have root 9 that's 3 that's 3 times 3 that will give us 9 3 times 3 that's 9 then plus here we have 3 over 3 that will give us 1 is it equals to 10 from here of course this is 10 which is equals to 10 in the same way we can put 1 over 9 here that is the second value of x which is 1 over 9 so we have 3 root 1 over 9 plus 3 over root 1 over 9 with this be equals to 10 from here then we have this is 3 times 1 over 3 plus 
3 over 1 over 3 is this equals to 10 from here then here 3 will cancel 3 and this is 1 here plus of course this fraction will become 3 divided by 1 over 3 so that same thing as is it equals to 10 of course this is 1 plus 3 times 3 over 1 when we change this you know fraction we change to multiplication 3 go up is it equals to 10 of course 3 times 3 here is 9 so 1 plus 9 is it equals to 10 of course this is 10 on this side which is equals to 10 so here we can therefore conclude that the solution to this problem will be x is equal to 9 and the x equals to 1 over 9. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Also turn the notification bell on and share this video. Give a thumbs up. Put your comments in the comment section. See you in the next class then. Bye for now.